your pumpkin for the best vegetable competition. It's bigger than my marrow. Eh, maybe. But the judges will be looking at all kinds of things, Izzy. Hey, why don't you give it a last polish while I load up the van? Good idea. Come on, Marrow. You can grow. To you, Eddie. <coughs> Whoops. Hey, be careful. Oh, are you OK? Sorry, Izzy. <laughs> What's that? And why are you talking to it? It's my marrow. I'm trying to make it grow bigger in time for the show, but it doesn't seem to be working. What's a marrow? It's a vegetable, Mario. You know, my mama sometimes sings to her flowers to make them grow. We could try that. OK, let's give it a try. Oh, lovely marrow, please grow for Izzy. If she doesn't win a prize, she'll get in a tizzy. Mario. Phew, that was close. Ugh. Uh, Eddie! It's definitely getting more sunshine like this. <sighs> but it's not getting any bigger. Are you sure marrows taste nice? I'd rather have a raspberry. Leave those alone! Hey, go on, get off, you naughty thing! Don't worry, Maggie. I'll get him. I'm the best goalie in town. Watch it, Mario. Oh. Oh. Watch out! Ouch! Oh, good save, Izzy. Time we were off to the show before my pumpkin ends up as mash. Can you help me? You see, I'm entered in the school speech competition and, of course, I drew the short straw. What's your subject? The potato. Ah, uh, the good old spud. We use potatoes a lot in the restaurant. I looked up all sorts of stuff about it, like it grows underground, like it's got lots of vitamins and minerals and stuff, and get this, it was the first vegetable to be grown in space. There are so many things you can do with potatoes. You can bake them, roast them, boil them. Shane, you know more about potatoes than anyone I know. Can I practice my speech on you? Sure you can. That would be potato-tastic. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the potato is Hiya. a... Oh, oh uh, could, could you give me a hand here? Hiya, Maggie. Here you are, let me help. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Shane. What are you all up to? Honey was just practising her speech about potatoes. She's giving a talk at school. Oh, great. Let's hear it, honey. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh. groceries! More groceries. <sighs> Honey was just about to practice her potato speech. Oh, potatoes? <laughs> How interesting. Let's see what you got. OK, um... The mighty potato. First cultivated over 8,000 years ago in ancient Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Peru? That's funny. It's not a joke. They really did come from Peru. Oh, um... That's very interesting. The... the mighty... <laughs> um... There's potatoes? Mashed? Um... Uh... Honey, you all right? It's just you're all looking at me. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and, uh... uh I can't remember what I was going to say. Then how are you going to remember for the competition at school? I don't know. Well, I can help. You've just got to trust your subject. Mario, throw me that potato. The mighty potato, king of food. Throw me another one. They're easy to grow, chock full with the good stuff, and they taste delicious. Throw me another. They're great to fry. You can cook them in a pie. You can slice them, you can dice them. Give them a try. Potatoes are great cooked any old way. So let's hear it for Ba-da-ba-dum, Potato Day! Yay! Yay, Shane! Shane. Potato Day! <laughs>